Good morning everyone. We have a beautiful sunny day in Nazaré and we're just doing the surf checkup and um, to decide what we're doing. Like if I go for a pedal session today or a towing session. I think for now on I can just rest, prepare, prepare the jet ski in case, train a little bit, make a warm up, some good food and then have another check. I like to train like two hours before the surf session, so get my body a little bit warm, stretch a little bit. And it depends how I feel, like in the moment I'm kind of a little bit injured, so I make a special uh, treatment for my body, it's like a trauma release exercise. That's kind of a um, shaking in the body what you produce, that you heal your injuries by yourself, kind of. So today I don't have a higher energy level, so I go very slow in my body. and don't do too long exercises, so very short and more intense in the stretching. And yeah, I feel good in the moment, but um, let's see how it is in two hours. Um, and I'm still um, on an empty stomach because I'm intermediate fasting since uh, half a year. And um, so I'm drinking water, so I'm a bit weak. So it's time now to eat soon and give the right nutrition. Like one hour before the surf session, the stomach should be full and to get the right energy for the surf session now. It still looks a bit messy. It's not that big, but a fun size. And, but I think because the swell is getting bigger in the afternoon, we have to do a third surf check. So we make a quick stop at home um, before surfing I need the right nutrition so uh, we make some oats with buckwheat, a lot of fruits and yeah and then a juice what I drink, a lot of veggies and fruits too. So. Good porridge, fresh juice, voila! So now the most uh, annoying part, the petrol for the machines. They are pretty hungry and so you have to feed them. It's good, bro. Are you good? Good, good. Big, big, it's big. Good. It looks mm -hmm. beautiful. Eh? Mm -hmm. More to The whole week, huh? Just filled up the machine, give a check if everything is working and putting the equipment on and yeah, then ready to go, see what's happening outside. It's not that small, so let's see if I catch something. The waves are pretty shifty today, so uh, it's not easy to catch them, but what I saw when you catch them, it's a pretty nice ride. So. Today it's a good session because after four, four weeks without uh, waves, always it's good going until the water and try the jet ski and catch some waves. I start like uh, 11.30 filming with other person for Quito and waiting for um, Freddy to surf after filming. And uh, Freddy come on, on the moment when the, the battery finish of the other guy. When the battery finish, I see Freddy first time. Okay, it's perfect on the moment. Start with a, a, a really good wave on the first second, but Freddy like start in five seconds ago and going on the bigger one and don't feel uh, confident and uh, jump out. 
and after this talk a little bit with Freddy to understand the best format to catch the wave uh, safety and uh, try other format to catch the, the second wave to start going more confident and after this catch like five six waves really good ones and have one wave on the first peak like se seven meters eight meters and uh, it's really good to to training to start the week like that good session but after a while i can't surf anymore because of my shoulder yeah one or two hours i can handle it and then the arm is off it's like just no grip anymore no energy but still that one very good way uh, it was a nice session and yeah stop Yeah, then we made some training in the impact zone and it's about you drive with the waves, of course, uh, before the waves, they smash on you in the impact zone and then you try to get out in the lineup again and that's kind of the training. To see where are the sweet spots in the white water where you can go through with the jet ski through it. And um, this is like, yeah, you need a lot of experience, you have to train it a lot. Even this was a mid-sized day, but on the bigger days it's really difficult and this is the most important you have to learn actually because when you have to save one, someone you have to train the impact zone and um, it's one most important thing of the tower and surfing I would say and Dino made it really good and in explaining and we drove some turns you know and um, some sets that we had really some white water and could train it pretty good. Another day, another surf, another surf check. Just texting with Dino, my driver. Um, we just uh, managed the time now, and um, but I think we have to go just right now in because of the tide and everything. And the, the swell is going down, so the size will go down. and. I think we have maybe one or two good hours and then we'll be not that nice anymore so we have to hurry up a little bit. So my main job here is always to keep people safe. So from here I can see better what's up in the water where the waves are coming the direction of the waves, the size, everything, because inside of the water you don't have uh, a clear view to the back and to see what is coming, so they rely to me to tell them uh, which wave to, to catch, uh, when the set is coming, where the set is coming, and to keep everyone safe. If a bigger set comes, I'm going to keep her safe, keep them safe, kept telling them to go out or to go the other way, and it's basically that, always on alert to them.
The team worked super good, but we had, um, I think it was already the first wave. Uh, I put the, the surfboard, it was a lighter one, my favorite one for smaller waves like that. And uh, I just put it with so much pressure on the sled that I broke out a fin. So then we had already the end of the session and had to drive back to the harbor. <laughs> so it was not a good start, but we uh, quick changed the board, came back and then the session started and um, I catch one wave after another. It was a really good training day. Um, especially in the smaller days, you can train a lot um, more difficult situations, you know, because on bigger sessions it's mostly more easier sometimes because you see the waves better. When they are smaller, it's like always a bit tricky, you know, where they're coming from. Of course, we have our spotter, but um, the situations are just different and you can train a lot of situations. So it was a pretty nice day, pretty good waves, I would say. And yeah, it was, I'm, I'm happy, it was good. The session was really good. Uh, Freddy needs so many waves and some good waves, really good waves. Every fun, everything was fun and safe. The water is blue, the sky, everything is good. It was a good day. Yeah, um, at one point you have enough waves and then you want to drive a little bit because that's the job here too, you know, in the big waves. Especially me, I want to train my driving very good um, and you need that, especially when you want to surf the biggest waves here. Yeah? So, so we switched a bit and I drove uh, Dino a little bit in and it was in the beginning a bit complicated. I made some, a lot of mistakes, but um, you know, it's training day and um, the waves are not so big. So uh, if you make mistakes, it's okay. And, yeah, but um, we trained impact zone two. It was a very good day to train the impact zone and um, to get through the white water, to the white wash. And it's always fun, um, but of course, uh, surfing is more fun. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode two and um, feel free to give us some feedback, some what you like more to see maybe in the next episodes. It's a lot of stuff we can show here. It's, um, a never-ending story, I would have already in my mind thousand episodes about what you can film, you know, from equipment, what is difficult this year of the big wave surfing and if you have some questions, some specific things you want to see, just let me know, I would be happy about it and thanks for watching. <laughs>